Before I start this video, I'd like to inform you that there's a big announcement at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching, and hope you enjoy. The inline six is one of the most infamous engines ever built, being used in the Supra, Skyline, and every Cummins truck. Now, the reason why they are so popular is because they can produce a ton of power while also staying more fuel efficient than a V8. Now, I of course don't have the tools to be able to manufacture a full metal inline six. However, I just happen to have two 3D printers, so maybe I can design an engine that runs off of air instead of gasoline. So hello everyone, my name is Axel and I like to build stuff. Let's build an inline six. All the engines I've built in the past have run off of the same principle, all using ball valves in the top to be able to let air in, all having four strokes timed by a camshaft, and all having an open exhaust port which allows easy tuning and lubrication. These engines are extremely air hungry and they are not very efficient, even with four strokes. Now the way I've gotten over this in the past is just by using a smaller displacement at lower cylinders. But because this engine has so many cylinders, you have to bring down the displacement. And in doing that, you have to make all the parts smaller, which makes it more difficult to print and harder to maintain. So after 10 hours, two full redesigns, and on top of that- Bro, just get to the build already! Bro, you can shut your little mouth. These people have been waiting for over three months for a brand new video. I'm gonna give them as much content as I can. So you can shut up and listen. Anyway, I came up with this. A 2JZ inspired 4.3cc in line six. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed with it myself. So, enough talk, let's build it. Alrighty, so we finally got all the parts printed, uh, all the parts turned out super nice, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start assembling this. Okay, I'm having an issue with putting these pistons together. I designed these pistons to have the exact same size hole on the end as the diameter of the screw. When I finally do get it to engage, it's extremely difficult. Like, look at that on the other side. Now I understand why small engines are so freaking difficult to design. Alrighty, so I finally figured out how to get all of the conrods and pistons attached. The piston is literally as big as my pinky fingernail. That's insane. We have push rods, which are right here, and then we also have the crankshaft. Finally got the first crank with the piston in, and there appears to be very little friction at all when it's rotating, so I think that's a good sign. Uh, for those of you who are subscribers, please let me know if you guys like this time-lapse format, as I'm always trying something new and I'm always trying to make the best content for you guys. This oil pan actually has different distances on the screws right here, so then you can put it on the correct way. Crankshaft is complete, and check that out. Oh. Man, that looks nice. Next up is camshaft and push rods. And then after that, we just have the intake. Yeah, let's, uh, let's finish this engine. Okay, so I finally got the valve train completely back intact. It spins really nice. Uh, but what I'm gonna do before I close it up is I'm gonna use some WD-40. It's the silicon stuff. And I'm just going to spray it into each cylinder and rotate that crank. Because what that'll do is it'll make it run smoother while also sealing it a bit better.
with the engine fully built, there's only one thing we can do. And that's test it. Alrighty, so I've got the engine right here. It's all hooked up. We got the throttle and six liter air right here. It's spinning very smoothly right now, which is good. Let's test it. The first attempt did not go very well with the air leaking out. The second attempt, I couldn't even get the air tanks to be filled properly. So it does not like much more than 50 PSI. There we go. That's 40. It's 50. Alright, let's try this. After this test and over three months of hard work, I was just about to give up. Until one day. Hold up. Hold up. What? Bro, that's crazy. This thing literally runs better when you run it off your mouth. That... What? Yeah, that's right. This engine runs better off of lower pressures instead of higher pressures. So it's sad that the engine wasn't able to run off of high pressure air, but the fact that it still runs gives me a little bit of hope. However, I luckily have an awesome audience like you guys that can help me solve this issue. See, right now the engine is only struggling running on higher pressures. So maybe with the help of you guys, I can actually have a redesigned engine which will run just fine. So that's why I'm gonna challenge you guys to redesign the engine I built in this video to be able to not only run on higher pressures, but also be able to run under its own power. If you guys wanna participate in a challenge like this, all I need you guys to do is take the engine files down below, modify them in a way where it is under six CCs, still has six cylinders, and is FDM compatible. Sorry, SLA users. Then, once you have your engine designed and built, send me a demo video and the STL files at axeldayton15 at gmail.com. I will only be taking serious submissions of this until December 17th, 2022. So if you guys want to participate, make sure to share this video with any of your friends who might have a 3D printer and ask them to participate. Because if I end up liking your design, I'll not only feature it in a video, but I'll also build it and test it in my own garage. Also, any people who participate in the submission will get a shout out. So seriously, I'm super excited to see what you guys could design with this engine. Hop on your computer, go design a new engine, and send it to me before December 17th, 2022. I'm so excited to be able to receive your guys' submissions, and I cannot wait to build one. So, uh, I'm actually like really sorry about the fact that this video took forever to put out. I've been struggling uh, in my junior year with school, sports, and splitting two part-time jobs. It's been an absolute nightmare and I haven't been able to fil film anything in over like three weeks. But I have to thank you so much for being patient with me. I was actually really excited for this video and I'm actually also again really excited to see your guys' submissions. Thank you guys so much for the support and for everything. STL files and socials are down below. If you want, please follow me on Instagram where I'll be giving more detailed uh, and future posts uh, for all my videos. And I cannot thank you guys enough.